So in each of these problems, we're going to have a situation where we have two parallel lines that look like this. And they're crossed by what call, is called a transversal. So that's just really a line that crosses through both of them when we use that word transversal. Now, if I start to look at this picture, we're going to focus on this top intersection. I can see here that these two angles here and here are vertical, so they would be equal. And these two angles here and here are vertical, so they would be equal. Now, another interesting fact about these angles, and this is just a little way that a little trick that I use, is that these two are acute. So if I look at those two little blue angles where the blue dots are, I can see that those angles bend in smaller than 90 degrees. The green angles, on the other hand, are bigger than 90. They're between 90 and 180, so I'm going to use an O for obtuse. Okay, so let's move down to the other intersection. So we're going to look at this intersection now. So if I look at this one, I'm just going to draw it in so you see where we are. Um, basically, I can tell that these two angles are equal because they're vertical, and these two angles are equal because they're vertical. Okay, so we kind of have the same situation. And the interesting part here is because the two lines are parallel, those angles are actually equal to what's going on in that top intersection as well. So when I identify that these two angles with the yellow dots are acute, it means they're also equal to those other two acute angles at the top. So I'm also going to use an A there. Okay. And then these two black dots are both obtuse. And because they're on the parallel lines, they're equal to the other angles that are up here. So if I went through this one, this one, this one, and this one are all equal. And then these two acute angles are also equal to these two acute angles up here. So basically, the big thing is we have to decide, are we working with two acute angles? We have two A's, they're equal. If we have an O and an O, those are also equal in this picture. And then if I have an A and an O, if I just pick any two of them, I can see that they form a linear pair, they add up to 180. Okay, so if I have an O, and an A, they're going to add up to 180, or basically I could subtract from 180 to find the other one. So let's look at our first picture. If I look here, we have M parallel to N. That's what those directions say, those two lines mean parallel, and we want to find X. So if I go through this picture, when I'm first starting out, if you're just doing this, I might label all the O's and the A's. So if I look here, it looks like X is an O, right? That's an obtuse angle, which would be here too. These other two are A's, acute angles. Going down to the other picture, 162, well, I know that's obtuse, and I can also tell that this looks obtuse. And then these two are acute. So once I get it labeled, I'm going to circle the two angles I'm working with. I'm working with this one, and I'm working with this one. They're both O's, so that means that X is the same as the 162. Um, let's move down to the next picture. This will be our last one where we really label every single little thing. Um, then we'll start to kind of maybe take some shortcuts. So looking in this picture, we have our parallel lines. So we start to label our O's and our A's. Um, we'll start with the X. Looks like that's acute, right? Smaller than 90, and this is its vertical angle, so that's also acute and equal. Down here, this one looks smaller than 90, and that one. So those four are all equal. Um, all the rest of mine, and there are always four O's and four A's, those are obtuse, these are obtuse. So this time, when I circle my two angles I'm working with, one is an O and one is an A, which means they add up to 180. So to find that X, which is next to that A, where right, it's an acute angle, I'm going to do 180 minus 166, which equals 14 degrees. So that's my answer for X. So we'll look at a couple more. As I said, that's the really, if you take all the time, we can start to just say, oh, I'm just going to label the two I need and not label everything, but you can always label them all. So on this page, 
I see those parallel lines. X looks obtuse. And 143 is also obtuse, right, based on the angle measure and also the way it looks. And we can see if we labeled our other obtuses that those two would be equal, so X is 143. On our next picture, 66, once again, parallel, that's important, 66 is acute, and this angle X, right, it's bending in less than a 90 degree angle is also acute, so X is also 66. Okay, so here's our last two. Once again, that same picture, parallel lines. So this 118 is obtuse. When I come over to this X, and it can help to draw it in sometimes, that looks acute. So they're not equal. Remember, an obtuse angle plus an acute angle in this picture add up to 180. So I'm going to do 180 minus 118 which is going to give me 62 degrees for that angle. So X is 62. Last picture, 116 is obtuse. Angle X bends in less than 90, so that's an acute angle. So since I have one of each, they add up to 180, and I can do 180 minus 116 to get that angle, which is going to give me 64 degrees for X.